Hey, what's up guys guys today's video is related to one of my previous video in which I have created a Gantt using the Google Gantt script in lightning component guys uh, in previous video we have created a visual uh, timeline for our task there were multiple tasks and we have displayed the Gantt using the start date and end date of those tasks so guys in today's video we will be doing some modification in that previous component and we will be implementing the colors in the bar based on the task status so there there will be different different status for different different tasks and we will be coloring the Gantt charts bar based on their status so guys let's start this video i'm kapil your host and you're watching salesforce fold Alright guys, so today's demo is related to one of my previous video in which we have created a GAN chat using some list of tasks. Let me just show you that output first. So this is the output of my previous GAN chat. Here as you can see, I'm having three tasks and I'm having different uh, due date for each task and for, for start date, I'm just taking today's date here. So guys, uh, today we'll be modifying this component. We'll be modifying this Visual Force page and we will be coloring these bars based on the task status so there are three different task st status here let me just show you the status let me just open these tasks okay so we have three tasks here and the status is not started completed okay and here as well it is completed let me just change it on task 2 okay so let's make it in progress all right so guys for this we'll be using the google gantt chat script so let's go to google gantt chat script and yep here it is all right so these are the gantt chat examples and today we'll be using uh, this script to make the bars colorful all right so let's create a new vf page right now so we can uh, create the code from the scratch we'll be using the same apex class and guys if you need the old gantt chat code so you can just directly go to my blog which is salesforcebold.com and you can search for Gantt chat okay so this is our yeah here it is so this is my old Gantt chat component so which you can use to display the timeline based on your based on your object without coloring the bar okay so I'm having the same code here this was my previous Gantt chat code and let's create a new VF page here here it is okay let's name it gantt chart colors okay all right so this is our new gantt chart page name let's hit okay all right let's copy the code okay so here's the code for this uh, colorful gantt chart let's copy it from here Okay, let's copy the page section first from our previous component. We'll be copying the form and the page tag. Okay. All right, so we are having the form tag and the page tag here. Now we will copy the HTML from the Google Gantt chat script. Let's copy it. Let's paste it here. Okay, guys, so we will be doing the changes only in the add rows part to make the Gantt chat colorful. We have to add another attribute the attribute name is uh, the attribute is uh, I think it was the color name here uh, hold on a second let me check it okay I think we have uh, copied the wrong code from here let me just copy the correct one we have copied the normal Gantt chat code from the above example let me just copy the correct code okay and, and let's replace the html now all right so we'll be modifying the add rows code and as you can see we are having another attribute called resource here and using the resource name we can change the color of the particular bar 
based on the task status uh, in task okay so let's check out the code here so here they are using spring for blue summer for red and sport for orange and autumns for green okay and for purple there's another color for purple they are using winter so guys uh, in our example so we are having three tasks so we'll be using green for completed orange for in progress and let's use a uh, red for non started okay so let's modify the code so we'll be we are using the same uh, apex which we have used in our previous scan chat component so let's copy some code from our previous scan chat component because we will be doing the changes in the uh, draw chart part only so let's copy till duration okay let me just check the script one more time all right so we have to copy till here okay so we are having different different parameters in our gan chat all right okay now guys uh, in this example we have to take another value from the database we need the task status in our previous example we are having the status but we are not sending it to our visit force page so we will create another list to store the task status as well and the status value will be in string let's name it t status okay here it is all right now we will declare the list again new list of string okay all right so we have declared our list here okay now we will store the value of task status in that list we will store the value here this ts dot status okay so we have stored the values guys in the task status now let's go back to visual force page and let's copy the code for a column here all right okay so yeah, let's change the name here as well t status okay all right let's replace everything and let's name this array as well okay so we have uh, renamed everything here based on our field value name and i think we have to change some changes in the blow code as well okay so let's copy the code from here again we have to use first let's take this code okay so this is our old code and this is the new example we have taken from the google gan chat website let's add this resource column here because this is the only new column available here so we have added the resource let's remove these variables and also let's remove these additional columns from here okay now let's copy the add data code so here's the add data code okay so we have added the rows here all right everything looks good mm -hmm. okay let's save it once now we have to add another variable here after the uh, task name because we, we are using resource here so we have to create condition inside this loop where we are adding the rows one by one okay so let's check the value of the status array so if the status array value is let's start with completed
okay so the, if the value is completed so let's take a variable here variable name is color okay so the color should be let's initialize it as an empty value here so if the status is completed so the color should be green and the value of the green green is this Okay, so this is the green value. Let's check the spelling here. Okay, here it is. Okay, so this will be the in small letters. So let's change the color spelling here. All right, let's make another condition. Let's copy the above condition instead. So we will be using three different different conditions here. Okay. So now let's make another one in progress. Okay. So if the value is in progress, let's change the color to orange. So the value will be sports. Okay. Let's change the value here. All right. And now our last status, which is not started. Let's check it once. All right, where's task one? Here it is. Not started. Okay. Let's change the value here as well. Okay, and the value should be red, which is summer. All right, and let's add the, this color value here as well. okay so i think we are ready with our code okay guys so our page is ready now we have to make this available for lightning uh, component development so let's click on setup and let's close this one first and in setup search for this four pages okay let's open it and this is our Gantt chat color page let's just make it available for lightning experience community and mobile app as well okay so it is saved now uh, now let's get back to our account page so this is my account and this is my testing account here and this is my old component so let's create a new section for our new component here okay so we'll be creating a new section and we'll name it colored gan chat and we'll be displaying our new component in it all right so this is the section let's add a new tab okay i'm naming it colored gant chat you can update the name as per your requirement so this is my can chat let's add the visual force page component here so this, is, this is the visual force page component and let's change the page name here it is okay i don't want to show the label okay guys as you can see the format has been changed here but somehow we are getting the same color for task two and three let's save it once after that we will figure it out Okay, visual force page name is invalid. I don't know why it's saying it's invalid. Let's try to save it one more time. I don't know why it's not taking the visual force page name. Let's try to add it one more time. Let's show label and add the page one more time. Component visual force has an invalid value for property. Okay, I think this may be due to this underscore sign. I don't know I think this this could be the only uh, wrong value for the visual force page name so let's change the visual force page name here let's make it vlog and chat color without without underscore sign okay so let's save it one more time and copy the complete code okay from 
start to end here it is okay so we have copied the complete code from our previous component to this new one and we have to make it available for the lightning experience let's refresh the list of little force page okay so this is our new component let's make it available for lightning experience let's save it okay so it is saved now now let's check it out if it is available uh, without any error here okay let's here it is okay now we'll try to save it one more time still we are getting this errors component with force has invalid value for property with force and page name let's try with some other component okay i don't know guys somehow it's not working here let's try to reload, reload the page and try it one more time okay so the page is ready let's add a new tab so this is our new tab let's change the name again okay i think i have clicked somewhere else okay so let's name it okay so we have modified the name one more time now let's try to add the component again okay so let's search for whistle force okay now we will add our gan chat component one more time and let's try to save it still it's not getting saved i think it is due to my previous component as it is not available yes it is not available let's try to change that previous component name as well now let's try to save it okay so the error was due to my previous component i think it is not available for the lightning pages here it is let me just change the configuration here once okay so configuration has been changed let me just reload this page again so we'll be having the old component at its value and the new component in the new section okay so this is the old section let's change the component here previously i thought it is due to the underscore sign but it was not it was because we have not configured it correctly for the lightning component values okay so this is my previous one and this is a new one cool it's working fine now okay so we are going to save it and i hope we didn't get any error here okay so it is saved successfully let's activate it okay it is already added as org default okay guys so i think we are ready with it let's just check it out so this is our old component with same color bars and this is the new one for task one we are having summer for task two we are not having anything for task three also we are not having anything and we have to check it because i think we are getting the wrong uh, identity wrong value there so let's check it one more time okay so i think they must be having some kind of space in between the task status or i think that should be the only issue let me just check it one more time into the object name okay let's check the task all right status here it is so these are the status let me check the value we are not having value for any one of them 
and we have added the color so I, we should be having the values there now guys we have to debug it a little bit like why we are not getting the values of the status there let's just print the value of the status first so we can get an idea why the status is not coming okay so we are printing the value of the status here okay let's save it and run it one more time this time we'll be having the status values in our debug log okay let's click on the colored gan chat so the status is not started in progress and completed but somehow i think we are missing something let's check it one more time Okay guys, so as you can see there is a space in between the values, so we have to trim it. Okay, let's trim the values because there were some blank spaces. So let's trim those spaces. Now it should work fine. Alright, let's save it and run it one more time. Okay, let's hit on colored Gantt chart again. All right, guys. So it's working now. We are having different different values for different different colors. Okay, guys. So due to some reason, we are not getting the proper color here. I'm not able to figure it out right now, but uh, at least. Uh, we can change the color based on the status now like we are using sports winter and autumn's color here so it's displaying blue red and orange for sports okay so using the same functionality guys you can also make your can chat colorful you can change the color of your bar as per requirement as per status so that's it for today guys and i hope you learned something new also if you find the content useful uh, subscribe to the channel will be awesome hey guys i hope you liked today's video please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below also let me know if you have any query in the comment section below guys i'll try to revert back as soon as possible i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching